As war rages in Ukraine, concerns that the U.S. could come under attack are rising, but the battlefield could be online. We wanted to know what would a cyber attack on the U.S. look like, and how can the average person prepare or protect themselves? Good question. Here's Jeff Wagner. Chaos on the ground in Ukraine after a missile strike targeted a TV tower. Explosive weaponry, however, isn't the only way Russia is fighting its neighbor. The Kremlin has targeted banks and energy sectors digitally. I'm not surprised that uh, a portion of this war is being fought in a cyber battlefield. Mark Lanterman is the chief technology officer for Computer Forensic Services. How might a cyber attack indirectly affect us? What we need to be concerned about is cyber attacks against our power grid, against our water processing plants, against our hospitals. All of that critical infrastructure is connected to networks and could be vulnerable. It happened last year when Russians hacked the Colonial Pipeline, creating a brief gas shortage in the southeast that had drivers scrambling to fill up while also grounding flights. What that taught us is that there, there is no such thing as perfect security. XL Energy tells WCCO it is closely monitoring potential threats to its grid connected to Russia's invasion of Ukraine and that protecting its system from cyber and physical attacks is a top priority. Is there a way you think they would target the everyday people People like us? Uh, sure. I, you know, uh, you hear about ransomware, uh, malware. Yeah, yeah people and, have warned about links. Right. How can the average person prepare for a cyber attack? We have to take responsibility for our own security. Here's how you can better secure your private information online. Have a unique username or password for all websites that require one. Yeah, I think multiple passwords and changing passwords. Disable location services and Bluetooth on your phone or laptop when not needed. Regularly update your phone and computer. And lastly, think before you click. All it takes is a hacker to trick a business owner into clicking on a link in an email. A decision that could unleash ransomware not just on your device, but an entire network. If I never click on an email that I Jeff Wagner think is in any way suspicious. WCCO 4 News. Lanterman also suggests people use a mobile hotspot on their phone versus public Wi-Fi. That includes the Wi-Fi at coffee shops and libraries where he says cyber attacks have occurred. If you have a good question for Jeff, email him by visiting WCCO.com links.